Man, oh man, another sunny day here at Dodger Stadium in California. And man, we're going to talk about this game. It is uh, Crosstown Rivals. Angels are in town for a three-game set. Or not in town. They're, they they live here. But uh, they're, they're at Dodger Stadium. <laughs> okay, so Dustin May is the starter for the Dodgers in this beautiful day game. Uh, 21st star, 11-1. 2.26 CRA, 127 innings pitched, well, 127 and one-thirds innings pitched, 80 hits, 16 walks, and 121 strikeouts this year for Dustin May. David Fletcher will lead off this ball game, hitting 262, um, 10 home runs and 30 RBIs. Has a 10-game hitting streak coming into this one, and the first pitch will be fouled off strike one, so... The rivals for the Angels just left Dodger Stadium after the Dodgers sweep the Astros. Um, Astros are first in the AL West. The Angels are second in the AL West. And trying to become first, but they're four games back, I think. And uh, now they got to face the Dodgers, which is not an easy assignment for any team in the league when you're facing the best team in baseball. But you can beat them. You know, we, we have lost a few games this year mainly from the Giants but the Angels could win this ball game I'm not saying they can't I think I think they I think in Anaheim earlier this year they actually took a game against us if I recall correctly the 2-2 two -two sinker 3-2 and two, great take Jose Iglesias is on deck for the Angels the 3-2 cutter will be hit the left and easy play for Trey Turner and one away here in the top of the first for Dustin May. So seven pitches to record the first out for Dustin. And the Angels are making them work. All right, that'll bring up Jose Iglesias hitting 246. Seven bombs this year. I didn't see his RBI total, but the four, the four, the the four first batters for the Angels are coming in hot. They have the they have the fire icon all by their names, so see how this we'll see how we do against them in this series. Here to sinker fouled off. <clears throat> oh two and now the year two cutter will be fouled off. Alright, the O2 and now the O2 changeup will be a wall. One and two great take. All right, the one two the fastball will be hit to right field Mookie Betts is gonna give it a look and he will not get there face plants in the dirt it looks like right there but he's okay the one two sinker now will be hit Lux nice diving stop throw to first two away what a play from Gavin Lux so two away here in the top of the ninth. Lux, you know, in the second half, his, his bat hasn't been good, so he's going to help out Dustin May in some type of way in this game with a diving stop. To record the second out, and now that'll bring up Mike Trout, hitting 339, 34 home runs, leads the AL, and has 75 RBIs this year. Got to be careful pitching to this man, man. Look at that batting average. That is absolutely crazy. Pretty much hitting 340. But he's hitting 339, and you know he's still playing great baseball. And somehow the Angels are fourth in the division. I mean, not fourth, second in the division to the Astros. The O2, the sinker will be hit deep. You will hit a uh, line drive shot to Trey Turner for a base hit. Not a line drive, but you guys get it. So a base hit for Mike Trout. And now that bring up Anthony Rendon hitting 292. It's righties better than lefties. The split right there. Three home runs against lefties this year. 15 against righties. Absolutely crazy. And taking strike one. Trout at first. The 0 1 cutter from May. Hit the right. This ball's carrying. This is trouble. Mookie Betts will get there. And it's caught. Mookie Betts with the rob. Oh my goodness! No way! Mookie Betts robbed a home run from Anthony Rendon, my first one this year! Oh my goodness! Mookie Betts with the glove! 
Zach Gallon is the pitcher for the Angels. Former D-back, 23rd start. 6-8 and eight at 2.80 ERA, 138 innings pitched. 105 hits, 53 walks, and 130 strikeouts. And the leadoff man is Mookie Betts. After robbing a home run from Anthony Rendon, it's still a 0-0 game. And Mookie will lead it off for the Dodgers. He's had he one heck of a week. Hit a home run against the Strohs the other day. And now robbing Anthony Randome of a home run, man. Honestly, I did not think I caught it. But I did. Well, Mookie did. What a catch from Betts. The 2-0. The 2-0 will be hit to right, and Mookie Betts is off to a hot start. This is going to be a triple, probably for Mookie Betts. This is triple alley. Well, that's triple alley, not triple alley, but that's an easy triple when the shift is on usually. So he robs the home run and then leads the game off with a triple, eighth triple of the year for Mookie Betts. And now that will bring in Justin Turner. He is fifth in triples this year for the Dodgers, or in the NL. He has five. There's pitch, ball one. He has five triples. He is on the leaderboard. That's what I meant to say. Oh, my goodness. I am so, like, shocked that Mookie Betts robbed that home run. Like, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out, like, did I really just do that? With Mookie Betts, absolutely unbelievable. 1-1 one, one now to Justin Turner. The 1-1 one, one pitch from Gallon. 2-1, good take. <clears throat> 2-1 pitch from Zach Gallon to Turner. Will be swung on a miss, 2-2. Two two. <clears throat> so D-backs traded Zach Gallon to the Angels. The 2-2 pitch, foul it off, and Gallon's on a winning team now. He's trying to chase the Astros for first place, but it's not going to be any. It's not going to be easy for the Angels. We learned that the other day when uh, the the Astros were in town. Those two games against them was not easy, but we won. And we're on a two-game winning streak trying to make a three here today. All right, another 3-2 from Gallon to Justin Turner. The pitch will be hit. That will not get fielded by the first baseman, so that will be an RBI single for Justin Turner. No, that's going to be an error. So an error on the first baseman. It's a 1-0 ball game. Mookie Betts will score. And now that will bring up Corey Seager hitting 296. I think he had two home runs in that Astro series. First pitch hit the left. This ball will be playable for the left fielder. And one away here in the bottom of the first. After Justin Upton catches that one. All right, that'll bring up Cody Bellinger. First pitch to Belly will be popped up. And Jared Walsh will catch it two away. Alright, two away here in the bottom of the first, and now that'll bring up Max Muncy hitting 303. First pitch from Zach Gallen with Justin Turner at first to Muncy will be outside ball one. Muncy two for a lifetime against Zach Gallon. Average is 250 against him with one home run. The 1-0. One, oh. one and one, good ch circle change. Alright, the 1-1. One, one. The pitch from Gallon. Two and one, good take. Alright, the 2 1 from Gallon to Muncie. JT at first. The pitch will be hit the right field, and this is trouble for the Angels. Justin Turner will go to third, and uh, he stopped at second for a second and then took off to third. Just a really 
messed up on the base running right there, but that's all right. It happens. 18th double of the year, and now that will bring up, uh, I'll bring up Trey Turner hitting 268. Runners at second and third, or two away. First pitch taking strike one. The battery is Zach Gallon and Kurt Suzuki. It is the catcher. Yo one. One and one now. <clears throat> one one to Trey Turner. The pitch from Gallon. One and two, good pitch. Fastball pretty much right down the middle and I was taking it all the way. A 1-2 to Turner. Fouled off and staying alive. Alright, the 1-2. Hit the right and a foul ball. That will go foul. So a souvenir for a fan and we'll have another 1-2. The pitch to Turner will be outside. Good take right there. He's given him a great battle with guys in scoring position. We'll see who's gonna win this. Alright, two two. The pitch to Turner from Gallon will be fouled off, staying alive. Really having to pull his hands back to swing at that one, but he got it somehow, some way. The two two. The pitch. Three and two now. A full count and Gavin Lux is on deck. Three two from Gavin. Two Trey Turner. And ball four. So a walk for Trey Turner. And now that will bring up Gavin Lux. He's hitting 309. First with on base percentage. 25 home runs and 60 RBIs this year for Gavin Lux. First pitch from Gallon. Taking ball one. Over five a lifetime. Gavin Lux has been really struggling at the dish lately. The 1 0. 1 and 1. Good cutter. Alright, the 1 1. Hit. This ball will get past the third baseman. Trey Turner's on his way to third. Two runs will score, and that'll be an R a two RBI double for Gavin Lux. What a swing! 17th double of the year for Lux. Man, I'm having a hard time running the bases so far in this game. I feel like, but I'll, I'll take that run. And now that'll bring up Will, those two runs, and now that'll bring up Will Smith hitting 278. Second and third now. They're two away and swung on miss. Fourth strike one. Our Dodgers offense coming alive early in this ball game. The 0-1. One and one. If you're Zach Gallon, you don't want to give anything to Will Smith to hit. At the end of the day, Dustin May's on deck, and I feel like that's the battle you want. So if you're Zach Gallon, don't be scared to pitch around Will Smith. But at the end of the also, you at the end of the day, Zach Gallon wants to get out of the inning. Which he will with the swung on miss, uh, swing and miss right there from Will Smith. But we do score three. Ready now for LA. Justin Upton. Lifetime in this matchup. He's over four. All right, Justin Upton will lead off the top of the second. First pitch cutter, strike one. One and now the other one fastball. 0 and 2. Right, the 0 2 and now the 0 2 curve. Oh, inside 1 and 2. Oh, May will have a three run lead now coming out to pitch in this top of the second, and that's ball 2 according to the ump. Wow, okay. Alright, 2 2. The cutter swung on and missed for strike three and one away here in the top of the second. So one away and now that bring up Jared Walsh hitting 235. Had an error in the first inning and kind of cost the Angels a little bit. The 1-0. -oh. 
the cutter one and one. Alright, the one one. The sinker hit and this one's hammered. And Jared Walsh is gonna get the Angels on the board and it's a three one ball game. What a swing from Jared Walsh, man, seventeenth home run of the year. And unfortunate Unfortunately that sinker just did not sink well. And that was blasted. Feel like I'm having a hard time finding the zone in this ball game with Dustin May as that's a good pitch after giving up that bomb but you know there's a lot of pitches so far in this game when I feel like have what could be better um better placed and just better results like like right there I want that to be ringed up I want him to get I want him to get ringed up right there for a strikeout but I'm missing these pitches as that's a strikeout two away here on the top of the second second K for me and now that'll bring up Zach Gallen. Has a little bit of hitting history playing with the D-backs, but since he's an American League pitcher, doesn't get to do that as often. A uh, one cutter, one and one. Alright, the one-one sinker. Hit. Muncy will make the play. And that will end the top of the second, but the Angels do score one thanks to Jared Walsh and his solo shot. Alright, Dustin May will lead off the bottom of the second, hitting 103. First pitch from Zach Gallen, ball one inside. Gallen 33 pitches in that first inning. He needs to have a quick inning here if he wants to have a... A night where he can at least pitch at least six innings. Or a day. The 1-1. One, one. Hit up the middle and that's going to be a base hit for Dustin May. So a leadoff single for Dustin May. And uh, if you're Zach Gallen, you got to figure something out. All right, first pitch to Mookie Betts. Song on and foul. Strike one. Tripled in his first stab bat in the last inning. Oh, one. Oh, and two. Everybody else gets night games. The Rockies get a night game. The Giants get a night game. The D-backs and Padres at night games but we have been playing so many day games lately it's just crazy oh two the pitch from Zach Gallen will be chopped down to third Rendome to Fletcher to Walsh for the double play so two away here on the bottom of the second and now that will bring up Justin Turner. Not, not a good at bat right there for Mookie Betts. Really struggling, I feel like, on that one. Just swinging at some pitches I shouldn't have been swinging at. And taking ball one is Justin Turner. <laughs> Turner, he's 0 for 1. Reached on an error. 1 and 1. In his last AB. I feel like if the def if the defense, you know, commits an error, I don't think the player should be 0 for 1. Because he, he reached. I feel like it should like count as, like I don't want to say a walk. Because that's a strikeout. But they should fix that, I think. Because he's 0 for 1, but he reached on an air. Like, it makes sense, but it doesn't. Like, like I get he reached on an air, but why does he have to be 0 for 1 when he reached on the... Like, I, I don't know. It's just... I, I wonder, like, if there like... Like, why they don't, like, just say he's batting average rather than say he's 0 for 1 or just put reached on an E or something. I don't know. I was just thinking about that. The 0-2 to Kirk Suzuki. This one's hammered to right center field. Mookie Betts will be able to make the play. He's going to call off Belly. One away here in the top of the third. <clears throat> so, one away. And now that will bring up David Fletcher. The four hottest hitters for the Angels are coming up. First pitch cutter to Fletcher popped up. And that'll be a foul ball. And we won't be able to get there with Muncie. All right, the 0-1, the four-seamer. Quickly 0-2, beautiful pitch right there from Dustin May. All right, the 0-2, and now the 0-2 curve. 
will be fouled off. Alright, with two and now the sinker inside, one and two. Oh, one, two, and now the cutter. And he's going to go around. Two away here in the top of the third. Third strikeout for May. Cannot believe David Fletcher swung at that. But we'll take it. Two away, and now that'll bring up Iglesias. He's 0 for 1 with the ground out. First pitch to Iglesias. Ball one outside. No 1 0, and now the sinker popped up into right. And an easy play for Mookie Betts in a 1-2-3 inning for Dustin May after giving up a home run in the second. So 1-2-3 inning here. We'll take it. Welcome back as the Dodgers prepare for their third turn batting in this one. And fans of the boys in blue have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. Within the league, they rank among the leaders in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. When asked about their offense, the players I talked with all brought up how multifaceted their talent is, saying they've got guys that can spray the ball around, guys that work counts and draw walks, and of course plenty of guys that can go deep and drive in runs. Their numbers certainly confirm that, guys. All right, first pitch from Zach Gallon to Seager will be high for ball one. There's no wind today at Dodger Stadium. Look how calm the flags are in center. Absolutely unbelievable as that's going to be a... And maybe another error if Seager reaches, which he won't. One away here in the bottom of the third. And it says we can challenge. I I think he was out, so we're not we're not going to challenge it. I'm not, I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure he was out. We're, I should have maybe challenged, but we're not going to challenge because in my I thought he was out as that's hit to Rendome two away. So two quick outs for Zach Gallon in this inning on three pitches. And now that'll bring up Max Muncy who doubled in his last at bat. First pitch. Out inside ball one. Zach Gallon's finding the zone and making a lot of the Dodgers uh, batters swing at a lot of pitches now, which is lowering his pitch count, not high, not making it too high. But this is about to be his 50th pitch in the third inning here. 1-1, yeah, 2-1, one, one. Two and one. We'll ta hey man, as many pitches as he can throw, that's always that's always our goal as a, a batting lineup for any pitcher we face, 3-1, and one. And Gallon has figured us out so far, but he can't find the zone in this at bat now, 3-2. and two. Two and now the 3-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. A nine pitch inning and a really good fastball right there from Gallon made Muncie look silly. Alright, Mike Trout will lead off the top of the fourth. Singled in his last AB. First pitch curve from Dustin May will be fouled off, but strike one. One and now the 0 1 cutter. 0 and 2. 0 2 and now the 0 2 fastball to Trout inside. He'll be fouled. Good speed still for Mike Trout. His 10th year in the majors. The 1 2 hit. Seeger will field it. Throw to first on time. One away here in the top of the fourth. So one away, and now that bring up Anthony Rendon. He's 0 for 1, got robbed of a home run from Mookie Betts in his last AB. Absolutely crazy. The 1 0. The sinker, 2 and 0. Okay, 2 0, and now the cutter. 2 and 1. All right, the two one, the sinker, two and two, right down the middle. Wait, the two two, the changeup will be fouled off. Wait, the two two, the fastball swung on and missed two away. 
0 for 2 is Anthony Randome in this ball game. Fourth strike out of the day for May, and now that'll bring up Justin Upton. First pitch will be a curve with four. Out inside a little bit, ball one. 1 0 from May to Upton. 1 and 1. Really struggling with May, in my opinion, today. I feel like I just cannot find. This, like, I, I'm pitching well. You know, he's only giving up one run through four after Betts catches that. But I just feel like I'm missing a lot of pitches. I'm missing the meter. I'm not, like, the pitches ain't looking filthy. I feel like I'm struggling, but he's doing okay. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. All right, Trey Turner will lead off the bottom of the fourth. Walked in his last A.B. First pitch taking strike one. Trey Turner, I think, swung the bat maybe twice, three times in his last A.B. You know, one and now high, one and one. <clears throat> Crosstown rivals in Chicago are playing eight to two Cubbies. A nice play from Gallon, one away. It's only the Crosstown rivalries that are on right now. <laughs> Crazy. All right. I bring up Gavin Lux. He's one for one. He has a double in this ball game with two RBIs. First pitch from Gallon will be inside the zone for strike one. An outside pitch will just snuck into the zone. Oh, one. Oh, one and one. The one one. It. To center field, David Fletcher's on his on the move to away as they call off the outfielders and Trout and Mitch Haniger and Wright. All right, two away, and now that will bring up Will Smith. He's 0 for one. First pitch, ball one. Hmm, the 1-0. 2-1-0. With a 2 0 pitch, 3 0. Three and one now. Alright, three one. Three and two. So Zach Gallon will battle back against Will Smith. The 3 2 pitch, 65th pitch of the game will be. Hit the uh, left. Upton's on the move. He'll be able to make the catch to end the fourth inning here at Dodger Stadium. Jared Walsh has a home run in this ball game and this one's popped up one away here in the top of the fifth as Smith will finally catch it <clears throat> so Walsh will go sit down and now that will bring up uh, <clears throat> I'll bring up Mitch Hanniger all for one first pitch curve taking strike one One and now the 0 1 fastball. Hit the left. An easy play for Trey Turner. So two up, two down quickly here in the top of the fifth for Dustin May. I think today's bullpen uh, will definitely maybe see Tony Gonsolin. I feel like he deserves an inning. It's been a while since he's pitched, too, so just want him to come out and pitch an inning. Um. Uh, probably Jansen, depending on the lead, since uh, Brewster Gratterall shut out the Astros the other day. 
And he had a he had a pretty good inning. So did Blake Trinan in that ball game. So we'll see what happens. But today I feel like I want to get Tony Gonsolin on the mound. Uh, as, not as soon as possible, but I feel like I want him in here by at least the seventh. Pitch count starting to rack up a little bit for May. I feel like I've really struggled with May in this game. Is that going to be an easy play for <clears throat> um, Max Muncy? But we'll see what we do. May he's had a good day though. Well, he's due up, so who knows? We might pull him here. You know, start warming up Tony Gonston in the pen. And we're going to let May get a bit, an at bat here. First pitch from Zach Gallon and foul, foul ball all in one. Well, May with a single, so I don't know why I'm bunting, to be honest. The one and now the pit. Oh my god. I thought I just hit a home run with Dustin May. But I didn't. It was, a, it was just a foul ball. The 2 from Gallon to May. The pitch. Swung on a miss for a strikeout. One away here in the bottom of the fifth, and now that'll bring up Mookie, but he's, he's one for two. First pitch from Gallon to Betts. Foul it off, strike one. Granted into a double play in his last AB. The 1. Hit, foul it off, quickly on 2. <clears throat> the 2 pitch from Zach Gallon. High, 1 and 2. Oh, the one two. Two and two now. Alright, the two two from Gallon to Betts will be hit the left. This one will be playable two away here in the bottom of the fifth. <clears throat> so two away and now that'll bring up Justin Turner. He's 0 for two. Struck out earlier in this game. First pitch, fouled off, strike one. Deal one. 0 oh and 2, quickly. Oh, 2, another pitch. One and. Wow, ball one. Look at, look at that pitch. That's uh, that's a little low, but kind of looking like a strike as Turner will go around. Kurt Suzuki's throw will be on not on time. And then E2, so Justin Turner will reach on two errors in today's game from this Angels ball club. And now that'll bring up Corey Seager. He is 0 for 2. First pitch from Gallon will be fouled off strike one. Seager. 3 for 16 lifetime against Zach Gallen. Deal 1. 0 oh and 2 now. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Deal 2. To Corey Seager. 1 and 2 now. Zach Gallen, he's definitely had to work for every out he's gotten in this ball game. No 1 2. Turner will lead. Turner will take off. There he goes. Swung on and miss. And that will end the fifth inning here at Dodger Stadium as Seager is 0 for 3. All right, Kurt Suzuki will lead off the top of the sixth. Dustin May still on the mound. And I think this will be his last inning of work. First pitch, ball one. The 1 0, and now the cutter. 1 and 1. Alright, the 1-1 one, one sinker. Hit and fouled, 1-2. and Alright, 1-2 from May will be a strike three. Throw down from Smith, one away here in the top of the sixth. Five Ks for May in this ball game. And now that I bring up David Fletcher, 0 for 2. First pitch, fastball way outside, ball one. All right, the 1 0. The cutter, 1 and 1. Oh, the 1 1. The sinker popped into left. 
Trey Turner will call off Bellinger two away here on the top of the six for Dustin May and uh, I bring up Jose Iglesias we're gonna let May pitch to him over two first pitch fastball popped into right on one pitch six innings one run two hits given up five K's for Dustin May that will end his day at Dodger Stadium here against the Angels say a pretty good outing yes for the command and control for the pitches it was okay could have been better but at the end of the day he got the job done and did what I needed him to do and you know only let the Angels score one run and now the rest of it it's up to the bullpen the 1-0 from Gallon, 2-0 Right, to go to Bellinger and this one's hammered and if this one's fair the Dodgers will have a three run lead which it is fair and a home run for Bellinger 21st home run of the year he's one for three with a solo shot in today's ball game and uh, Zach Gallen will be pulled out of this ball game and now that will bring out uh, Aaron Sleegers Seeger, Sleegers, Sleegers, not Seeger, Sleegers. Uh, he, he, wow, he's had a lot of innings pitched this year, 108, so must be, must have been a starter for the Angels. And I think we faced him one time actually. Now that I see that wind up, this will be a base hit for Max Muncy as Jose Iglesias cannot make that play. And now that'll bring up Trey Turner. So back-to-back -back hits for the Dodgers. One was a bomb, one was a single. And now that'll bring up Trey Turner, who will have a jam shot. It's going to be hard to turn to because of Trey Turner's speed, and he'll dive into first. And now that will bring up Gavin Lux. He's one for two. First pitch to Gavin Lux. Trey Turner off and running on the first pitch. There he goes. Taking a ball in 30 seconds, stolen base of the year. Right there for Trey Turner. That's one thing about Trey I love having is that he's just a stealing machine. The 1 0. The pitch, there he goes. That'll be a strike throw down from Suzuki. Will not be on time. 33rd still in base of the year for Trey Turner. 1 1 to Gavin Lux. He has two RBIs under his belt today. Trying to get his third now. The 1 1. Hit and that will be a field, that ball will be played by the shortstop. But Gavin Lux will get another RBI under his belt today. Third RBI. Good swing, just unfortunately. Jose Iglesias made the play. Alright, I'll bring up Will Smith. He's over for two and taking ball one. Alright, the one out of Smith. Quickly two and oh. Two zero, and now the two zero pitch to Smith. Three and zero, and now Dustin May's on deck. All right, the three zero. Three and one would have been ball four. Oh, three one, and three and two. All right, three, two. The pitch, this will be a blooper. That's gonna be a single for Will Smith with two away. Yeah, he, did, he didn't want to walk, he wanted to get himself a hit. And that's exactly what he did. Adding on to his ear. And I'll bring up Dustin May, we're gonna pull him out of this game for Ryan Braun to get a pitch hit appearance. Getting 241 home run and five ribbies this year for Ryan Braun. I haven't checked up on Matt Beatty lately, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that after this ball game. 1 0. A 1 0 to Braun. 2 0. You know, I said a few weeks ago, maybe, who knows, maybe a month ago, because I haven't been uploading these gameplays consistently for MLB. 
but I said that when we bring on Matt Beatty, we were going to release Ryan Braun. But now I think we're going to bring on Matt Beatty and make Ryan Braun go play for the Oklahoma City Dodgers just in case we need him because he's been so hot lately as he drives this one to center. And that's his second home run in a Dodgers uniform on a 3-0 pitch. 7-1, second home run of the year for Ryan Braun and his seventh RBI right there this year. What a swing from Ryan Braun. And then he's, he's showing me that there's things where I don't need to take need to put him down in triple A. He's just been doing really well. The batting average ain't as good. Ain't too hot, you know, hitting 240, but that's the same as Matt Beatty kinda. And I feel like I'm doing a lot better with Ryan Braun than I was with Matt Beatty. But who knows? So that's popped up. An easy play for David Fletcher. He'll catch it to end the inning. But it's a 7-1 game now for the Dodgers. Thanks to Ryan Braun and Gavin Lux. All right, Tony Gonsolin. Let's see what his, his stats are. 25th game, 3-2 and two record. One in, uh, he has one save, 50.1 thirds innings. 100 and, I mean, a 1.79 ERA this year for Tony Gonsolin. He has a lot of innings under his belt this year, man. One away here in the top of the seventh. This might be this the rest of this game might just be Tony Constance. Alright, first pitch to Anthony yeah, to Anthony Randon. Bets will get there two away. So two pitches and two outs for Tony Gonston and now that will bring up Justin Upton. He's off for two. First pitch slider, ball one. Oh no, and now the fastball. One and one. <clears throat> Alright, the one one splitter. One and two. Oh, one two, and now the fastball will strike out Upton to end the top of the seventh. A one two three inning for Tony Gonsolin. All right, Justin Turner will lead off the bottom of the seventh. He's 0 for 3. First pitch to Turner will be strike one. A good slider right there. Well, one another pitch. I went two. So our dogs are barking at my stepdad for some reason. They probably want something. One and two. That's why you hear the barking, and one of them is in my room barking at him from my room for some reason. All right, the one, two, two and two. So don't mind the barking. I mean, it's been in a lot of these videos, so I'm pretty sure y'all used to it. The two, two, fouled off, and staying alive is Justin Turner. Hey, hush. <laughs> two, two, hit and fouled. Oh, wait, the 2-2 two -two from Barrietta Turner will be struck, will be a high fastball to strike him out. JT is really struggling in this ball game. One away here in the bottom of the seventh, and now that'll bring up Corey Seager. He's over two. I mean, over three, excuse me, and taking strike one. All right, deal one, and now the pitch. We're going to lay down a bunt. Corey Seager. He'll get himself a base hit. <clears throat> not to not to try and score runs. That's just a hit he needs. Make sure that average don't go any down, any more down than it already has. First pitch to Bellin. Oh, this has popped up into right. Seeker will just get back to first and two away. Oh, two away, and now that bring up Max Muncy. He's two for three. First pitch. He'll be fouled off. Strike one. A one, and now the pitch. Seeger will take off. There he goes, and he's swinging a miss. 
throw down from Suzuki on time to end the seventh inning here at Dodger Stadium. Yeah, Jared Walsh will lead off the top of the ace. He's one for two with a home run. First pitch, fastball high, ball one. 54,664 fans here in attendance at Chavez Ravine. Did he go? Yes, he did, one and one. Right, the one one splitter. One and two. So Tony Gonsolin, you know, Tommy Kalen and him are kind of the secret weapons. Tony Gonsolin don't really come out of the bullpen that often unless it's like a extra inning game and we need somebody to pitch a bunch of innings. And Tommy Kalen's the guy who barely gets to see the mound. First pitch slider, strike one. But when they do, they're really effective. And they pitch really, really well. I think this year I did give Tony Gonsolin one star as that's two away here in the top of the eighth. But he has pitched plenty of innings like he's been a starter. Kinda. Dexter Fowler will pitch it here with two away. Hitting 305. First pitch fastball to Dexter Fowler will be strike one. He has around 53, well, if he goes all three innings, he'll have like 53.2 thirds innings this year under his belt with Tony Gonsolin. Is this his hit to the right? Mookie Betts will catch it in a 1-2-3 inning for Tony. Here in the top of the eighth. Six up, six down for Tony Gonsolin. All right, Mike Mayers will be the pitcher. 4.44 ERA for Mike Mayers. Two for three is Max Muncy, and he'll lead off the bottom of the eighth. First pitch, taking out low and away, ball one. <clears throat> All right, the 1 0. Hit and fouled, one and one. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the low. All right, the 1 1. One and two. Ball. Right. The one two. Two and two. Right. The two two. The pitch. Three and two now. Trey Turner is on deck. Mm, three two. Foul back and staying alive is Muncie. Right, the three two from Myers to Muncie will be hit to right. This one is carrying, and this one is gone. Max Muncie with a leadoff home run here in the bottom of the eighth. An eight one game, 25th home run of the year. For Max Muncy. So a home run and now that'll bring up Trey Turner. He's 0 for 3, 0 for 2. First pitch to Turner. Will be fouled off. Strike one. He's 0 for 2 today. He, he, he did get walked. Reached on a fielder's choice. Has two stolen bases. One one to Trey Turner. And the pitcher Myers hit into center. Trout will have an easy play. One away here in the bottom of the eighth. Oh, one away, and now that'll bring up Gavin Lux. He's one for three, but has three RBIs today, does Gavin. First pitch for Myers. Outside ball one. No, to Gavin Lux. A one and one now. Lux, he's been really quiet at the dish lately, like I said earlier in today's game. But he's one for three with three RBIs under his belt. So, you know, wish I could get more hits, but, you know, with him coming through and helping out and usually giving good ABs, 
and getting hits he has to stay in the lineup obviously and I and I have a lot of confidence in him that he's gonna find something and in today's game I feel like I've done really well with him today you know even though he's one for four but he has three RBIs and getting good swings today it feels like all right, uh, bring up Will Smith. He's one for three, and almost getting hit by a pitch to ball one. Wow, he dropped the bat. I don't think Will Smith found that uh, pitch inside from Myers uh, too kindly, or Mayers, excuse me. The 2-0 from Will Smith. I mean, two Will Smith, three and zero, and Tony Gonson's on deck. The 3 0 from Mayors to Will Smith. 3 and 1. Yeah, 3 1 to Will Smith. Hit. Iglesias will field it. Third or first to end the eighth inning. And Tony Gonsolin will not have to bat. He, he does not get an AB in this game. How do, how do we have two errors on defense? Did y'all see that? It says we have two errors. What what have we committed in this ball game to be an error? Strike one. A one and now the other one curve. Oh and two. Alright, the O two and now another curve. Will be fouled off. Oh, two and now the fastball to Suzuki will be hit down to Turner for the first and one away here in the top of the ninth. So one away and now that bring up David Fletcher. He's in risk of ending up that hitting streak. First pitch to David Fletcher. Fouled off strike one. One and now the other one slider to Fletcher. Oh, and the one and one. Alright, the one one fastball from Gonsolin to Fletcher will be popped up. And that will end his hitting streak as Mookie Betts will secure this ball two away. So two away, that bring up Jose Iglesias over three. Only 22 pitches for Tony Gonsolin so far in his. Little outing coming out of the bullpen. The one to Iglesias and now the fastball 0 and 2. <clears throat> 0 2 and now the 0 2 slider from Gonsolin will be fouled off. So an 8 1 ball game here at Dodgers Stadium. The 0 2 now will be fouled off. So staying alive, it's Jose Iglesias trying to keep this game alive. Yeah, 2 12 6. We'll strike him out. Throw down to first 10 this ball game. And the Dodgers win 8 1 in the first game against the Angels in this three game set. Dustin May will get the win. Surprisingly, though, they might just say Tony Gonson gets a save for pitching three innings. I, I don't know why it does that sometimes, but it does. Our 96th win this year. Uh, May will get the win. Let's see. Uh, they didn't put nothing on the. Yeah, Tony Gonson gets a save. You see, that's so weird. I. Uh, what was what was the score when he came in? I don't know, but Gavin Lux with a nice play, Mookie Betts with a nice play, robbing a home run, man. That was the coolest thing ever. And uh, we'll take it, man. What a win for the Dodgers in this game. Uh. So yeah, so like, comment, and subscribe, turn on those post notifications. We'll see you guys back with another game with Kershaw on the mound uh, against the Angels in our next video. And I'll see you guys then. So like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. I'll see you guys next time.